Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we begin, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button in the corner there. Um, it's free, it doesn't spam, and it helps me and my channel grow, and that way I can just offer amazing videos and share it with you. So today's video is kind of random, but I got a lot of requests for it, so I decided just to go ahead and give the people what they want. So today's video is going to be about the emergency food prepare kit. This one is the ReadyWise one that I got over at Costco, and I am not sponsored or endorsed by Costco yet, but I just really wanted to share this with you since so many people did happen to ask about it. Considering all the uncertainty that surrounds the pandemic right now, and especially how everyone handled the toilet paper situation, I thought this would be a great thing to invest in me and my family. So we went ahead and just purchased it. Again, we got it at Costco. So let's go ahead and see what's inside. So this is the top of the bucket. As we can see here, it lists the servings of food. We've got all this list of different food items, beverages, and then fruit and desserts. As we go around to the side here, go ahead and it says we have 124 servings, up to 25 years of shelf life, and this bucket from Costco includes four bonus servings. So we'll go ahead and take a look at the nutritional information on each side. So it has this quick little tear tab. So we're gonna go ahead and just try and pull that off. And it looks like we just yank it all the way around. So we're just gonna go ahead and finish tearing the other side around. It's pretty, pretty easy to, to tear off. Now let's go ahead and see what's inside. It's a nice foldable bucket. Looks like in there we've got the packets. Let's go ahead and kind of lay them out. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we have in here. So we have the vanilla pudding packets, Cheesy Max, um, apple cinnamon cereals, savory stroganoff package, Southwest rice and beans, brown sugar, maple nut grain, orange drink, chicken noodle flavor soup, creamy pasta and vegetables. And now these are some really good sized bags. The back of the pouch says that one bag serves four people. Of four cups of water to a boil, add contents. So that seems to be the standard cooking time for all of these food bags. So we're gonna go ahead and pause and get ready to taste test some of this stuff. So the only thing I don't see is for the orange drink and the yogurts and some of the kind of dessert items, there really isn't instructions on the packages the way that the, the main meals has instructions of how to prepare it. And the bucket didn't seem to include an instruction sheet. Although I do know that this company has a website. So we're gonna go ahead and try the creamy pasta and vegetables and the savory stroganoff flavor. So they both say to bring four cups of water to a boil and let stand for about 12 to 15 minutes. Ooh, this little kick it in here doesn't look too delicious, but get rid of that. At least you know it's safe, right? So we go at, looks what it looks like so far, just kind of simple packet there. And then the creamy pasta and vegetables, put a little moisture packet inside, so just make sure not to eat those. And this one looks good. So far the packets smell really good. Like they smell really, really good. Way better than like hammer and helper. Ate that as a kid. So we're just gonna go ahead and put some um, the four cups of water in each one. We're gonna cover it for uh, the 12 to 15 minutes, 
and then we'll just go ahead and see uh, how they taste. See, so yeah, we just went ahead and put the hot water in there. We're just gonna kind of stir it around. So the bag wasn't actually big enough to cover this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cover these ones up with a ceramic plate. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the water in the other one for the uh, beef savory stroganoff. So that one also called for four cups of water. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that one in here. This one smells good, but that creamy pasta and vegetable one smelled really good. I really liked how that smelled. So I'm pretty excited to see if it tastes as good as it smells. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and give it a, a stir. We're gonna cover it and we're gonna just let it sit for the packet said 12 to 15 minutes. All right, let's see how they turn out. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes. Um, we went ahead and checked the food and it didn't look like it really had absorbed it very well. So we went ahead and microwaved it for another three minutes. So just an honest appraisal of how we got to this consistency. So the first one we're gonna try is the creamy pasta and vegetables. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at this. Ooh, this one looks good. Smells good. Smells really good. All right, let's go ahead and give this one a try. It's nice and thick and that turned out really good after we gave it the little microwave. Yeah, that one's really good. It doesn't look like it has like chicken meat in it or anything, not like an MRE or any of those dried meals. I've seen some survival kits that have a lot of meat and you just put some hot water and let it absorb and that you get like a whole bowl of meat. But this doesn't seem to have any uh, necessary protein in it. So I'm going to show you the nutritional content of this right here. Um, seems to have, so one serving has five grams of protein, 36 grams of carbs, and 2.5 grams of fat. So I mean, I do think it's pretty cool that this does last 25 years. Um, we did the math on the packet. So one packet serves four people. So obviously this is a very large bowl of pasta. It goes to about $2.26 per packet for that feeds four, which is 56 cents a meal. So that's not terrible, especially, again, it does last for 25 years. So I mean, if you look at some of your standard rice or hamburger helper kind of meals, I think those have a shelf life of like five years or so. So because this has the little oxygen packet, the oxygen absorber packet, you know, this keeps it uh, and it's air sealed, you know, it keeps it edible for a quarter of a century. So that's really cool. I'm gonna try is the savory stroganoff one. So again, we did microwave this one for another three minutes after letting it sit for the 15 minutes with the boiling water. So this is how this one came out. It's um, a little more soupy than the other one, but let's give it a whirl. This one is really good. It has like a really creamy flavor. Again, there's no meat in this one either, but with the other one as well, they both have like that bouillon flavor. That one was chicken and this one is beef. So it definitely has that bouillon kind of saltiness to it but they both have a really, really good flavor and they're both really, really thick. And they're actually really good. Go ahead and show you the back of this one. The nutritional facts. And again, we said it came to um, $2.26 for the packet, which feeds four, which is 56 cents a meal. So this one is 3.5 grams of fat, 39 grams of carbs, and seven grams of protein. There's a small amount of vitamins in these packets, so they're not, super rich in supplements, but I guess if you're in a state of an emergency, then these are actually pretty awesome. So to wrap it up with what I really liked and didn't like about these, the box uh, doesn't appear to have any instructions other than the instructions on the back of the packet for the cooking instructions, but we, nor, we would have assumed there was gonna be a sheet of paper or something in there that had the instructions for the this one is the orange drink. So obviously it just has this little label on it and there's nothing on the back of, you know, how to how to cook, like how to make this. So I guess, I mean, you could just guess and pour it in some water and 
uh, trial and error it. But I kind of do wish that there was some kind of instructions on how to use this and a couple other of like more of the dessert items and the drink items in the case that didn't really have any instructions on them. Um, so, and then when we checked the website while we were on break getting the meals ready, we didn't happen to see any instructions on also how to prepare that. So that definitely is something I really did not like about this kit. Also really didn't like was that we had to incorporate the microwave. So again, considering preparation and emergency states, you know, we might be assuming that we have no electricity. Um, so maybe if you happen to have propane or uh, some other way to heat up uh, a teapot or some hot water to add to your food, these didn't really quite get to the consistency that I've seen some other ones get to with just adding the water covering and waiting. So that was a little disappointing because this uh, bucket was about $70 from Costco. But again, these survival kits are very expensive. I've seen some up to the price of $200. So it really isn't bad for what you get. And we are assuming that we can use this with the feature that we have access to heating up water and potentially even cooking it. But again, if you're in a state of an emergency, you may not even care as long as you get nutrition, like if we're in Jurassic Park mode or something. But if it's not that bad, I would say I'd give this box probably like a six or seven out of 10, but not a 10 out of 10. A really great flavor and it was pretty simple obviously to put together i just wish again we didn't have to microwave it but yeah that is our review of the ReadyWise survival kit from costco go ahead and hit the like button if you enjoyed our video definitely write in the comments if you have any more questions or suggestions about my future channel the ReadyWise kit or anything else on your guys's mind uh, keep a lookout for my next videos coming out. I am introducing a bartender series. Last episode I mentioned that I'm a bartender. So I actually had quite a few people comment about wanting to know some things about the bartender world. So I'm going to make a bartender series kind of answering a lot of those questions for you guys. So do uh, subscribe to my channel so you can keep a lookout for all those awesome upcoming videos. And again, I appreciate your time guys. I appreciate your support and take care till next time.